Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to 8-Bit Summer. Uh, we're going to kick things off again with Super Mario Land 2, 6 Gun Coins for the Game Boy Pocket. Now, as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of a practice run in File A, and this is going to be a 100% playthrough, so let's get to it in File B. Ah, uh, yes. So, this is our new little overworld. It's a lot bigger than uh, Super Mario Land on the Game Boy Pocket. Uh, but we can't really go anywhere until uh, we finish this level off, so let's get down to it. As you can see, Mario runs more fluently. He, uh, um, the enemies are bigger, we get bigger items. Um, we just got the mushroom, which turns us into Super Mario. And, um... <clears throat> and, uh, we can get a f the fire flower. Now, now, here's a really nifty thing about this, um, thing. Um, if you have a fire flower, and you get hit, um, you turn back into Super Mario, you don't turn tiny, like in the good old days of Super Mario Brothers. Uh, again, Star gives us, um, you know, invincibility for an amount of time. But if we happen to attack four enemies while having the star on, we will get countless one-ups, which is nice. Um, if you are in Super Mario form, you can actually jump and press down to break these blocks. You get an extra life like that, and I don't know why. The sound is um, really buggy here, but nothing really I can do about that, you know? If you have a fire flower, you can break these blocks. You can't break them as Super Mario. And then uh, at the end of each level, we actually get a bonus game if you ring the bell. In this bonus game, it's a crane game, um, just make your timing perfect and you should be fine. Ah yeah, see, there you go, I nabbed three lives. So I'm happy, I'm content with that. Alrighty, so, we got many things going on in the world map, but let's go ahead and check this out first. This is where you get to bet some coins so you can get some extra lives. Uh, getting a hundred coins does not grant you a one up this time. No, 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 no. Uh, coins are just basically, you know, you collect the, the maximum amount of coins you can get is 999. You can come into this cave at any point if you have more than 30 coins to bet them um, to uh, get some extra lives. Here I'll show you an example. I have 30 coins, let's go ahead and do this. Um, in this point, I can't get any lives, but we can get an item. Uh, just make a good estimate guess of when to hit the item, and you should be good to go. Uh, and I lost my flower suit. Oh well. That's okay. Now, this over here is the area of our new villain of the game, or franchise, or I guess just this game only. This is Wario. This is Wario's castle. But we can't go into Wario's castle unless we collect the six golden coins, hence the title. So we'll visit Wario later. <laughs> Way later. But with that, let's go on ahead and get to our first uh, map, the Tree Zone. Tree Zone is pretty basic, I mean, you just, um, it, it's pretty linear, you, you can uh, go through every, you, you consider this as like a tutorial place, that, oh wow, that block kind of fucked me up, didn't it? That's okay, because I think I found a secret. Yeah, I found a secret. Look at that. A 1-Up. I didn't even know that was there. Yeah, it's easy to get a lot of lives here. Like, if you if you have a star and you hit four enemies, you can get constant 1-Up one after 1-Up one after 1-Up if you just keep, you know, 
running into enemies of the star. Um, if you notice the counter at the bottom, we have our live counter, we have our coin counter, and we have an icon at the bottom that looks like an ant's head, I guess, question mark? Um, that's our enemy counter. Um, if we destroy um, 100 enemies, uh, we get a 1-up. So instead of getting 100 coins, get a 1-up, we have to destroy, we have to go out of our way to destroy 100 enemies just to get a 1-up. So, um, there's that. Super Mario Land 2. Well, again, I got introduced to this game, um, thanks to my cousin. <laughs> it's a fun game. I love it. Probably one of my best, um, or my favorite Mario game in the franchise. Seeing it's on a handheld and everything else. But yeah. So we'll go ahead and go through here. And this is where we will find one of our um, secret level entrances, I guess. That's what they're called. I'm gonna grab this fire flower just in case. And yeah, these uh, these little goops that I'm jumping on are not water, they're just like gel, letness kind of things, I guess. I don't know. But um, just keep rapidly pressing the jump button to uh, ascend and just leave the buttons itself alone just so you can uh, descend, why not? That bell I just touched is our checkpoint. That's our checkpoint counter. And here is our final power up in the game. The carrot. The, what the carrot does is um, they give you rabbit ears. They grant you flight. You can descend very slowly, very slowly. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of it. Anyway, that was a uh, that was actually a secret passage, huh? Yeah, it was. But to get to our secret level, we want to swim up here. And we want to jump on this enemy right here. So we can get some height, then we can go into this pipe, which will lead us to the secret exit. So let's go ahead and tackle it down. And uh, these secret levels, uh, they're not that much difficult. Um, this particular one just has a lot of Koopas and coins lying around. This is basically a good uh, place to uh, scrounge around for coins if you're um, in the need to like make a few bets to get some extra lives or something. But me personally, I've had a lot of experience with this game. So I am not going to be making too many bets. So yeah, let's go ahead and finish the level. And within each secret level that we beat, depending on the area, you get a new little feature in the background. Uh, in the tree zone, we get this uh, nice flower blooming effects, which is always nice. But let's go on ahead and finish this level proper now so that we can uh, move on. Because we can't exactly do that. Because we need to get one of the six golden coins. Why not? Don't want to ha let Wario have all his fun now, can we? Oh. Let's go ahead and nab that checkpoint, even though we don't need it. See how abusive this uh, carrot uh, power-up is? It's pretty abusive, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but uh, we're uh, getting very close to the exit on this level. And I'm not going to bother going through um, each bonus, so uh, 
we should be okay with 15 lives. Really not much else I can really say about this game. I guess I could describe, you know, how I was introduced to this game, but again, you know, when my cousin had a Game Boy, uh, he had this game onto his uh, Game Boy Pocket along with uh, Gargoyle's Quest. And this game is really fun, you know. I, you know, this is my favorite uh, Mario title on any handheld. Well, except for that remake of uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario, or Super Mario Advance 4, I should say. And see, we got another carrot, so we can go on ahead and come over here. See how abusive this power up can get. It's pretty. It's pretty nice. I, I mean, I like the feature a lot. But I did say this is going to be a hundred percent playthrough, so I am going to be complete in all that there is in Super Mario Land because I am that awesome. I am the Blue Hedgehog 2010. We got Thwomps here. That makes a Good appearance, except you can clearly see that they're bees. Fuck. I hope I don't die. I, I, I plan on not dying at all in this game at all. So, uh... Oh, man. Well, good thing those bees are pr Fuck! Can't believe I died! No! Uh... Alright, well, let's try that again, I guess. Oh, see, there's a fire flower. At least I can use this. So I don't get too reckless on this stage. Oh, man. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for that to go. Alright. We should be okay for now. Oh, man. Fuck! I better not die again on this stage. That would just be sad. Let's go on ahead and get this uh, star, I guess. I want a mushroom, actually. That gives me a mushroom, so we're good right there. Oh, also... No, actually... I actually might have gotten that wrong, okay? Alright, alright, alright. No, 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 no. I, re I remember now. But, um, what happens is if you kill 100 enemies, you actually get a star power up. So, uh, yeah. How about that? Anyway, we are on our final level of the tree zone. I don't have my, uh, bunny ears with me, so I can't rape this level, unfortunately. But that's okay, because we get to mess around with the mechanics of this level, or the gimmick, I guess. It's these flying owls. They help us travel where we need to go, I guess. I don't know. Clouds, too. And I get a checkpoint, why not? Um, I think in here is a carrot. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. I can rape the rest of this level. <laughs> it's fun. I like this. <laughs> I like the bunny ears on this game a lot. It's uh, a lot of fun. But now we're at the end, and we get our first boss. Oh man, I, I, I couldn't even tell you what the boss's name on this is, but um... This boss is pretty simple. You just jump on him three times. And that's it. <laughs> Not much of a boss battle, is it? <laughs> but with that, we got our first out of six golden coins. Yes! <laughs> But oh man, oh man, I, you know, I lost, I completely lost track of time, so I don't know what time I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and end the part right here, ladies and gentlemen. 
So in the next part, we will actually be going after our second coin, which is on the moon zone, or space zone. I forget what level it's called, eh, whatever. But, uh, see you then, ladies and gentlemen. Happy gaming.